Welcome honored guests to the land of TMS. I am the Busybody Baroness and this is a comment video. Before we get started on comments, I forgot to mention yesterday's episode with Olivia having a phone call with Monica. Let me know in the comments, do you guys think that this is kind of like their way of letting us know Monica really isn't coming back? Is this pre-retirement? Are they going to get rid of her? Is she going to have an accident? What do you guys think is going to happen with Monica's character? And Diane Van Zandt says, I believe Cyrus will pay off Carly's debt. I think that would be a good thing if he did pay off the debt. But we saw that his offer to Drew was um, to join his little flock um, and warning Drew that he needed to align himself. Sorry if you hear a car. Align himself with some type of group, I suppose, while he was in prison. Uh, Catherine, Catherine Piper says, I think the story with Gregory has promised they can promote ALS and how Lyme disease is, a seri is serious. Tracy does illness support better than anyone. Many with Lyme disease do end up in a wheelchair. So what would help GH have a regular? I'm sorry. So would help GH have a regular with a disability? And she says, who is Christina's brother? Um, yeah, I do believe they probably are going to go that route with Gregory. And when we were ranting about the brother on Twitter, the lady that plays Molly now, her brother put something on Twitter saying that us GH fans just need to get over it. His sister is here to stay. She's not going anywhere. And I say fooey to that. I, I don't, I believe that. <sighs> And nobody wants to see anybody lose their job. Please let me be clear on that. But she's cringy to watch. It's hard to watch. It's irritating to watch. And if they could do something else with that role, it would just be great. Jennifer Lundquist says, I heard your rant about Molly. Then just saw pictures of Christina versus Molly. It's her brother nuts. Unless they decided to switch Molly and Christina's ages, this just doesn't this just doesn't work. Molly looks so much older. I don't care if they can play younger than her age of 39. She's playing younger than Christina in this case. I, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't. Oh, boy. It doesn't really matter how old she is in real life. It doesn't matter how good she looks. It's really about the character she's portraying. It's supposed to be in her early to mid 20s. And she's ready to start a family. This lady is clearly not in that age range. And it's just weird. And it doesn't matter how high she makes her voice, how squeaky she makes it. And that actually makes it worse. She looks ridiculous. So whatever. Um, Pamela Riggs says, can't, can't get with the Molly and Christina characters. Bring the two originals back again. Now, the other Christina said that she wanted to do other projects. So I doubt if she's going to come back. I'm okay with the Manzi lady. She's doing a good job. Again, the other Molly just isn't doing it for me. Uh, EH9 has a lot to say. EH9 says, I want to see Alcazar and Carly back together. Bring back Haley. Oh, Haley, this Molly isn't good. Joss is pregnant on Friday with Dex's baby. Oh, a baby girl, and they're going to name it Agatha Charlotte. And she says, I hope, I'm sorry, they say, I hope that Gregory has a cure. I seriously doubt um, if they're going to make Gregory have ALS, then there's no cure. And they have to stay true to that story or it'll be like really just not right. And I'm really not a supporter if they make Joss pregnant because we just saw her planning for her next semester and going to medical school or whatever. So... I mean, if the writers go that route, fine. I'm sure it'll be interesting, but I just hope they don't. I really don't. And Haley, this Molly isn't good. Yeah, nobody likes her. Risky says, if the if Pikeman is Valentine, who is after Anna? Robert is going to go after him with with vengeance. And Robert is very protective of Anna, the mother of his daughter, Robin. Yeah, we saw him and um, Anna sitting down talking about, you know, they were on um, a FaceTime call with Robin and it was it's just too bad what they're doing to Anna, but it's keeping her on and it's keeping her a story. And it's very interesting. I can't wait to see what's going on with Valentine. I don't know. Is he cloned? Did something happen to him in Greenland? Like I said, when they gave him that injection, what is this? Because he's acting so different all of a sudden. Lucy says, if I were Olivia, I would play along with Nettie that way. 
she'll know who he's sleeping with. Well, yeah, that's why she sat and warmed up his lasagna and questioned him. EH9 is back and says, Dear Busybody Bareness, can I be a hen? Well, yes, you are already a hen. The second that you comment and subscribe, you're automatically a hen. Uh, she says, Carly and Sunny are getting together on Friday. Oh, what we see in today's episode, I'm going to do the recap, that Nina did meet with Martin regarding the SEC case. <laughs> she says, um, Josh learns that she's pregnant and Carly and the family are going to force Josh to get married. But Joss will take a stand and tell them that she's moving out. Yeah, if she does move out, she'll move in with Dex and they'll still end up getting married. Jane Doe says, LOL, loved how you went off on the brother of the new Molly. Sorry, I forgot the name of the actress. I don't know. In my opinion, she looks more like she'd be related to Esme. Yeah, she does look like Esme uh, rather than the Davis family. They need to recast the role again or uh, once again or write the character off. I'm sorry, at least for now, it's too cringy watching her. Yeah, it is cringy watching her in scenes. Rumors, possible spoilers, spoilers, nosy Nina will be the one to end up rescuing Sasha. Oh, while dragging Miss Wu in, into it too. Nina ends up making more enemies though. She uncovers all the shady Savoy stuff too. Also, an older character will end up prego. Oh, and it may be Olivia after she gets together with Eddie. If Olivia is, I think that would be great. If Olivia is the one that ends up pregnant, that may jog his memory and get him back to normal. Somebody needs to save Sasha. I don't know what's going on with that. That's taking too long. Lucy Lennon says the intended target is Valentine. He lives in Anna's house that burned up. That would be a good theory. Only thing is why did Valentine lie about being at ELQ that day? Risky says, I think Maxie needs to have a sister and I think it would be fun for Esme and Maxie to to lock horns, especially if Esme would spoil Maxie's kids. Well, yeah, and then Maxie's kids will have somebody to play with. They'll have a cousin. She said she could help guard Esme, guide Esme to look elsewhere for a boyfriend, maybe someone from Mexico or Texas or Austria. Robert and Dante need to get together, and Robert needs to wake up Cody. I'm sorry, needs to wake, Robert needs to wake up. And Cody needs to help Matt get rid of Gladys and Mrs. Wu. I think that Tracy is up to no good and needs to and needs to be ratted out by Brooklyn and take responsibility for well what she did. The thing about it, if Brooklyn rats her out, then Brooklyn's going to be in trouble because she assisted her in getting those forms. It actually looks like, though, Deception may be in trouble based on... Um, if you remember when Lucy was talking with Felicia about the idea, she kind of got the idea for the Deceptor from Martin, who probably got it from the Enchantment line or something back in Pine Valley. I'm telling you, it's not going to end well. And yes, Esme and Maxie, that would be a fun uh, little sister duo, especially after she lost Georgie. You know, she's still mourning Georgie to this day. Even though Esme, is, she's complete opposite of Georgie, I think it would be good for Maxie. Lisa says, I like the new writers. They're moving the stories along. Finally, it'll have some time to, clo yeah, to close some of the stories out because they had to pick them up in the middle of the story. We are impatient because we are, yeah, we are already waiting. And Deborah J responds and says, I'm enjoying the direction that the writers are going with the storylines that are already set up. They seem to be moving right along. Now just do something with Nina. Again, we saw Nina today. We are going to probably um, uh, give her the end of, to the end of the summer before everything comes crashing down with her the way these new writers are going. Lisa Wild says, okay, protective big brother, your sister is probably a very good actress. She needs to apply for her age-appropriate roles. Everyone probably tells her she looks really young for her age, but I'm sorry she does not look in her early 20s. No, she does not. She does look good for 39 going on 40, but she does not look like she's in her 20s whatsoever. 30s, maybe. Robert Anthony says, I'm, I ain't sucking nothing up. Molly is too old. Bring the last one back. I'm with BBB. She needs to go. You're preaching today. Yeah, I was just annoyed at the comment that he made regarding like GH fans telling us to get over it. We don't have to suck it up and get over anything because we're the reason your sister is even getting the ABC, Disney, ESPN, Hulu check. Okay, you suck it up and just realize that your sister is too old for this role. Sorry, not sorry. 
Okay, you guys, thanks for listening to me, Jen Hens. Please hit the like before you leave, and I'll catch you in the comments.